but this building has been closed for almost seven, eight years. And we want to put a new life into it. It's a new chapter for a piece of Buffalo history. On Friday, we told you St. Gerard's Church on the city's east side is becoming a mosque. And today we heard from one of the new owners and from a resident who isn't happy about the sale. News for us, Jen Schatz is here with the details. Jen? Well, Don, Amar Shabi saw an opportunity in St. Gerard's for a new home for the city's Muslim community. Along with his two business partners, he purchased the church for $120,000. Thursday, the sale was officially given the okay by a state Supreme Court justice. Keys to this historic church are being handed over to this man, Amar Shabi. Shabi, along with his two business partners, bought St. Gerard's from the Catholic Diocese of Buffalo. There's a big Muslim community here, and uh, we wanted to be here. This is a good building. It's, um, and also, as you know, this building has been closed for almost seven, eight years. The church's last pastor is happy to see a building that holds so much memory continue to be a house of worship. The Catholic Diocese of Buffalo has a long standing, healthy, great relationship with the Muslim community for almost 40 years. Shabi believes the growing Muslim community in the area could bring new life into the old building. But some in the Catholic community feel shortchanged, seeing a piece of their history sell for what they feel is too cheap. Shabi purchased the building for $120,000. This property has been assessed, not appraised, assessed for over a million dollars. Then it seems like it would be in their best interest to offer it to the public. CC Pierce, a Catholic and a real estate broker, feels there should have been more advertising that the church was on the market. She would have liked to see more congregation members involved in the process, which was ultimately left up to the church's trustees. Now, State Supreme Court Justice Tracy Bannister called this sale a reasonable one. The diocese tells News 4 when the church was listed higher at around 130000 it just wouldn't sell. Shabi says some structural changes will need to be made, and he expects those to start in the spring. Live in the studio tonight, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 6.